So our next course of action is to check for spark. Now, check for spark. You take the spark plug glue off. And you need a special tool, but it only costs about 10 bucks on Amazon. It's a spark plug tester. You put your one part of your lead on the spark plug. You put the other one on the ignition coil boot. And we're checking right here for a glow or a spark. Okay. So you guys are going to be my eyes for this one. Uh, sometimes it's hard to see in the daytime, but we're going to give it a whirl. So today we're going to look at how to change the ignition coil on your uh, lawnmower. This happens to be a Craftsman with a Briggs & Stratton engine, Quantum engine. Very similar on all different types. First thing you're going to do is want to obviously going to want to remove all the covers. Uh, I've already removed the screws, so just two uh, Phillips screws holding that cover on. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, remove the gas tank. I've loosened up the uh, screws here on the gas tank. You got three five sixteenths and nuts. This one's being a little tricky. There we go. Uh, there's also a three eight bolt under here for the gas tank. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, use fuel line uh, crimpers here to uh, crimp off the fuel line. So I'm going to need to take this uh, fuel line off the carburetor. And a little bit of gas will leak out there. Uh, next thing is I will take off this 3.8 bolt here on the bottom. All right, next to get to the ignition coil here, I'm going to have to remove uh, one, let's see here, one, two, and three, four, three-eighths bolts from the uh, starter recoil. all these bolts the two front the two front ones are actually a little bit smaller than the back ones and then you can remove this uh, oil filler tube uh, with a uh, that would be a 5 16 not some it, it will just pull out here at the bottom and stay with the cover, which is fine by me. And now we can get access to the ignition coil right here. So if this guy's your pr problem, um, a lot of times, uh, you know, if you're diagnosing no spark, uh, typically it's this guy right here. There is a ground, um, wire on the front side of this coil so first thing you would want to do is take off this ground wire uh, and then try and restart the lawnmower again if it does work um, then uh, you have a problem with this wire uh, and that wire goes over here which is attached to the uh, mechanism for your brake band cable right at the top that you hold Okay, so when you release that, it actually grounds out this wire uh, to your ignition coil and stops the spark from happening. So 
if there's a problem with that, if it's grounding out some other way, um, then you won't get spark. So that's your first test. If that doesn't work and it still doesn't uh, have spark after you've pulled that wire off, good chance um, that your coil is bad here. So today we're going to show you how to take this coil off. Uh, looks like uh, two quarter inch bolts here at the top. All right, now you can pull that off. Disconnect your ground wire. To get this. So to replace this, you're gonna just do the ex exact opposite to put it back together. This is your new coil. Make sure that lead goes all the way in and clicks. You can hook up your ground wire. All right. Now to put this guy back on, what you're gonna wanna do is, you can see that there are actually a slotted holes here so that you can actually adjust it forward and backwards to get the proper gapping. And the proper gapping uh, they say is around I think around 10 thousandths of an inch, which is essentially the size of a business card. And uh, that's what I'm gonna use today to grab that gap. If you have filler gauges and you wanna use filler gauges to get the exact 10 thousandths of an inch, that's completely fine as well. Now, how you're gonna do this is you're gonna take your business card and you're gonna put that in here like so. And you're going to rotate, I'm going to take the spark plug lead off actually. You're going to rotate that till it lines up with these magnets. And you're going to see it's going to pull it in on the magnet. So you're going to want to get both sides to the magnet so that it's held in and with the business card in between for the gap. And then just tighten those guys down. Then twist it out of there, and that's it. You got your new ignition coil on there. Hook up your spark plug, put all your panels back on, and away you go. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and uh, please subscribe uh, for new content that comes out. Thanks again. Have a good day.